Welcome to the Cottingham 10 mile road race, the Snake Line 10. This is the third running of this event and the first time for 14 years that I've tried to film and commentate at the same time. So, apologies already made. <laughs> Race is already a little late in starting as the referee tries to pull the rounders back to the proper start. Move back one more yard, says the referee. Push my stop for That one, I, uh, that one there. That one there. There's a guy forgotten his number. <laughs> the Poplington. The Poplington Snake Line 10. And they've started at a terrific pace. It's a mile day. Suggestion there might be a little rain later, but we're hopeful. This presentation is by Priory Videos, and usually is a subject of first class filming. So today we'll try and not make too much attention for his video films of races. So, um, Hopefully I won't wreck that. And straight away we have an early leader. leader. I'll identify him as soon as possible. Aiden Goss is in front, an unattached runner. Number 257, I believe. 257, Dave Grattan. Oh, we'll try Dave Grattan, who was runner-up last year. And... Uh, He's trying to, to go one better at the moment, and he's certainly created quite a snake to this snake lane 10 already. They are moving very quickly indeed, on a f very flat surface, on a fine early spring day, while the birds are adding in their own accompaniment. Number 745, Mick Hawkins, Mick Hawkins, of course, he's a former winner of the Goodrington Half Marathon, fine athlete. So number 306 is just tucked in behind them. Ian Fisher from Otley. Uh, Ian Fisher from Otley, another obviously first class athlete from West Yorkshire. And there's a quite a group, of about 10, 20 metres back from there, quite a group of experienced runners, including uh, Pat Howdell of City of Hull, and you can see way down the field now. There's a terrific uh, spread of athletes. So we're just uh, turning left into the more rural part of this field. Quite uh, an established town as Pocklington, but as you can see, you don't go very far before you're deep in rural East Yorkshire. And look, there's a terrific gap appearing already. And the race is at less than five minutes old. Well, my experience tells me that one, two, three are almost sorted out already. One mile marker. And we have the mile marker coming up. 
4.52 for the first mile, so they are moving very well indeed. This will bring them home in uh, under 50 minutes. And they're looking comfortable. And as we go static now, you see the first three runners coming through there. And then the next quite a number of first class club runners there. Jim McGiven, number 449, just passes the camera point. And uh, Super Vet there. Hello, can you see the camera, man? Darren Bilton's gone past. Darren Bilton went past, and of course, that was uh, uh, our famous man from Chef. And you can probably hear the wind now. Uh, I can certainly feel it, but it's still not cold. And our good, honest endeavour. Honest endeavour, which is going to take most of these runners through in 60 minutes or less. The first lady just passes. Another lady, 770. And we just zoom up the position and just see how far this race has already spread. Spreading right round that junction. Number 136 there. Alan Mounter from York Raceway. Alan Mounter there from York Raceways. Number twenty-three. David V. David V. Right, you're on camera, David. One of the organisers. David Fisher from. Pretty well, Mike. Four, we believe, is the first lady. And it's uh, quite tricky picking some of the runners out as we're shooting directly into the sunlight. Seven seven zero. Denise Wakefield from Sale Harriers. Denise Wakefield from a very famous running club, Sale Harriers. Harriers. The longest travelled we've spotted so far. And she does looks like she's coming to make her journey worthwhile. Number 202. Jack Robert Shaw from Oxley. AC. Veteran over 50. And he's doing very well indeed. And... Parkinson runner, Mike Siddle. What number? Number one. Number one, well, we've got to film number one. We've almost lost him for now. And uh, the runners are raising a bit of a sweat now, because it's... Uh, another Parkinson runner coming up, five raids. Clive Reed. And now there's a famous runner there, number 369, Phil Dubry. Leading that 254. Paul Foster from Houghton. Paul Foster from Houghton. Those runners have gone through in 1042, so you can see they're really moving. That's under 55 minute pace. And the, it's amazing this race, uh, I, I said it's flat, but mostly the runners seem to be running downhill. It can't continue, surely. John Redmond and Shane Page, Steve Rennie, 
Sheffield AC 747. Boeing. That was Keith Metcalf, of course, former 20 mile winner at East Hull. Now Pat Harold the left, comes into shot. Apparently he did a heavy training session yesterday, running right through this race, treating it just as another training spin before the London Marathon. Patrick Lynch from Immingham. Patrick from Immingham. Wouldn't we like to be able to just train through a 10 and do these kind of times? McGiven there. Jim McGiven from uh, one of the six counties. Now almost a totally resident city of Hull, second claim, Beverly. Dave Lancaster from Roundtree. Dave Lancaster, of course. Running consistently well year in, year out. He's certainly been around a long time. 914 is in fifth place, a late entry, so we'll perhaps ask him if we get a bit closer. From Wirral. Michael Divot, if you didn't hear that, from Wirral, who's in fourth place. Fourth place in this third running of this Pocklington 10 Snake Lane Road Race. Just to give you a bit of an overview, you can see how far back they're spread out. Now in third place, Ian Fisher from Otley. Ian Fisher from Otley. He's, he's, he's hitting the ground a bit heavy at the moment, a bit flat-footed. He may be a... An uphill gradient, slightly uphill. He may have gone a little early with that leading pace, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. 7.45. That's uh, Mick Hawkins. Mick, Mick Hawkins, of course. Breathing quite heavily, but he should be. He's gone through the three mile mark in about 14 minutes 20 seconds. Enough to make anybody breathe. Breathe rather rapidly. Now, Dave Grattan from Wakefield moving very, very well gone through three miles in about 14 minutes 15 seconds or thereabouts terrific running looks easy moving well relaxed power you are Bishop Will waiting the uh, lead runners of this uh, snake lane 10 and you can see there's a fast Spectators. You want to give him the back away, don't you? Yeah. Camera crew. Oh, yeah. 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 He's turning, taking a sharp left turn, and he's got a terrific lead. Looking good. Can leave Mike Hawkins in the way. It's got to be going well. Mike Hawkins, Bingley Harriers. I'll read the numbers out. No more Late entry. Late entry just goes through, and these are. Uh, Michael McDivitt. Michael McDivitt just went through. It's quite uh, scenic here and it's turning a little breezy now. Donald Macmillan from Roundtree. Donald Macmillan there from Roundtree's number 367. 420. Dave Lancaster. Dave Lancaster, of course, they're all holding their positions and all these runners. Jim McGiven's having a great run there. Nearly ran a PB at Ferriby 10. I'd suggest today he will do. Malcolm Martin now, easily the first bet. Just 
which one is it playing the card on? Yeah. I'm not remembering Mark and Mark. <laughs> Pat Howdle. Pat Howdle now is... Uh, and Darren Bilton. Darren Bilton's made a successful return to running. And John Redmond's doing his familiar charge through the field. John Redmond, number 758. Steve Rennie just behind, holding on grimly. Keith Metcalf, of course, just went through there. Shane Page running terrifically well. This will be a Shane Page record to savour today, I think. Well, I think there's going to be some a few PBs coming out today. Brian Jones in that pack. Brian Jones, the uh, veteran runner. It's quite a uh, group now, it's quite a sharp left hand turn there. And uh, they've had a little bit of climb up to Bishop Wilton, I said it was all downhill but there was been a little bit of a climb. But still a very fast course. Well, he's had one mention as Phil Doobie, he's got two in one race. Oh, be pleased, be finished. <laughs> be pl pleased with that. <laughs> Another local runner okay. from Pocklington. Oh. Mike Siddle, number one. Um, is number one. There's a band on it. Yeah. And take two, yeah. better make Okay. So as we watch the uh, most of the sub fifty eight minute men, we move on to the next cars to next some of the uh, back markers heading towards Wilton. She'll let you sit in the van. Thanks very much. Ross Fisher, she's got a, a little bib on. One of the wounded. Zeke in emergency transportation back to the start. Got some walkers. You ought to be in the hotbed of walking in, in Britain. And they're, they're, they're walking this uh, leg lane 10. And doing a very fine job as well. Place though, I'm on four. And in view. A late entry. Still not quite sure who it is, but he's coming third. I'm sure he's going to maintain that position. We have the positions four and five running together. Another gap of 100, 150 meters between them and third place. But this little scrap for fourth should be interesting. Fisher. John Fisher there, and the early third placer. Michael no, Michael McDivitt there, and a round tree runner. As it looks, add there uh, down to the proceedings. A three, five, seven. In a roundabout. Paul Kelly from Mando, we, we expected him to feature well, and indeed he has. Dave Lancaster coming down. Dave Lancaster well. now, in the first 10 or thereabouts. Another 41. Jim McGiven running brilliantly. Nice seeing that group. I wouldn't bet against Jim. 
coming out the best of that group. Now one of the country's leading bats, Malcolm Martin. Mm -hmm. Malcolm Martin is now running in the over 45 section. Very soon, he'll be one of the super 50s. Yeah. John Redden, Pat Howell there, battling out. Yeah. Steve Rennie. Darren Bilt. Old gang of four. And, uh, someone tells me they're not going to come in. Definitely in that formation. This uh, Snake Lane 10 coming. He's now only a few seconds to break this course record. Unfortunately, he was obviously hampered by the quite stiff breeze that has built up during the course of this race. So it looks like Paul Cuskin's record is safe, safe for another year. But Mike Grattan's run very well. Shang, just over 51 minutes. And here comes the winner. Dave Gretton, Wakefield Harriers, in a time of 51 minutes and 15 seconds. Comfortable win. These flat courses, if there is a wind, they do expose the runners to quite a breeze that uh, makes it difficult to maintain form. And uh, maintain good pace as we're coming up towards 52 minutes we have the second runner just being clapped around the corner who's Mike Hawkins Bingley Harriers in 52 minutes dead a hard run for 52 minutes third place in 52 minutes and 38 seconds so there's a fair gap for the first three runners 
and there's a fair gap after that. It's round three runner just gets ahead of one of the early leaders. So we now we have the six six runners in. Surprisingly, only just under 54 minutes. So this 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 wind has, has obviously caused havoc. Eight seven eight Viking. Cool runner, easily there, best runner. Ah, Jim McGiven, running terrifically well, he's got the better of that group. Very good run. Jim McGiven through there. Dave Lancaster. But once again, uh, these times are quite... Alan Slack now, just passing Pat Howdell, Steve Rennie, and this full balance here of the uh, City of Hull runners. They all stayed together. Just finishing in 55 minutes and 40 seconds. Malcolm Martin. And a little bit of a gap again, 56 minutes and 13 seconds. Mansfield is not pleased with his time. I think a lot of runners would be surprised after a terrifically fast the first three miles. Quite a few runners in the 15 minute, 16 minute range would have expected to do considerably better times than they're getting now. 56, fairly odd now, Sean the clock. Brian Jones kicks for home. Brian Jones, a vet, may well feature in the 40 section. And Malcolm's in the 45 section, remember? So he may well pick up a good prize there. 57 minutes on the clock now. With and see Harriers, top runner. Andy Hughes. Andy Hughes. Shane Page has run very, very well. He's run a terrific race, 57 minutes and 18 seconds. To beat Steve Watts there, he saw that's a considerable scalp for him. A good runner there. going to start to stream into this uh, market square of Pockington. The clock shows 58 minutes and we uh, start to think about the first lady appearing. Well, one would have thought that uh, without all the snow and slush, the record would have uh, been taken apart, but uh, it has not been the case. In fact, there's about a half a minute outside the record, so quite a surprise, really. And Pocklington's first run at Prince is now number one. Pick up the club trophy for that. 58-55 on the clock. Quite a dash of runners there. As soon as you've got a break, Pete. Yeah.
and now they're just just beating the hour now as I say these uh, flat courses often create uh, unexpected times when there's a strong breeze around and still we just await to catch the first lady home uh, Jim Rogers the blue with a blue top on with a red vest I'll get out of the way. Jim of course was guiding Mike Barker through a partially sighted runner who did so well in the Disabled games. They're in the brown box on right. the back seat. The thing is the key back. You know, he's then. The best blue one. Jim. 
clock now reads 10607 8 9 10. One hour seven. One hour eight. One hour eight, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, one hour nine. One hour nine, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, one hour ten. One hour ten, one hour eleven.
Okay. We're now at 11, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 1 hour 12. One hour twelve, one fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, one hour thirteen. Get off and get a cup of tea. <laughs> One hour fourteen. One hour fourteen fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, one fifteen. Hi John. Okay, you see where I put them? Just near the set drivers. Yeah. Just the first one along there, the blue one, Fiesta. Fingers the key straight back.
Come on out 16, 56, 57, 58, 59, 117.
time are you expecting him to do? What time is he expecting to do?